Ohrid is a small town in North Macedonia, which is often called the Jerusalem of Europe because once upon a time it used to have 365 Orthodox churches. My first impression of North Macedonia was very positive. I liked the hospitality of the people and the natural beauty of Ohrid. Suraj, welcome to Macedonia. Welcome to Ohrid. Welcome to Hostel Bella. I have already talked about the significance of Lake Ohrid and the famous Ohrid pulse in my previous video. In this video, I am going to show you the vintage cars, the famous churches, a sunset cruise, and how I ended up clicking seven selfies with kids. Dusko is driving a car which is 50 years old. What is the model? Uh, Renault Chetri. Okay. Old is 50 years. 50 years. Oh my <laughs> yeah. God. Like yeah. He is dropping me from like near the hostel to the city center. Yeah. I mean, I'll show you the outside of the car as well. It's, it's really like you know, it's very old. Orid me, yahan pe bus stop ke paas hi bahut sare hostels hain. So actually, bus stop ke paas hostel lene mein bhi fayda hai. Orid ka bus stop se city center jo hai. वो करीब करीब दो किलोमीटर के आसपास है तो बीच में अगर आप हॉस्टल लेते हो तो आपको कम्यूट करने में थोड़ा आसानी पड़ेगी अल्बेनिया या नॉर्थ मेसिडोनिया में जब भी मैं आता हूँ ना मतलब जब भी हर दिन निकलता हूँ मैं तो यहाँ पे लोग थोड़ा घूर घूर के देखते हैं मतलब एक्चुअली यहाँ पे इंडिया के इंडिया से ज़्यादा लोग आते नहीं हैं टूरिस्ट जो है ना नॉर्थ मेसिडोनिया ज़्यादा आते नहीं है मतलब अल्बेनिया में भी ज़्यादा नहीं आते बट स्टिल अल्बेनिया में ई वीज़ा का सिस्टम है तो आजकल बहुत सारे इंडियंस आ रहे हैं लेकिन नॉर्थ मेसिडोन में तो बहुत ही कम लोग आते हैं पेपर म्यूजियम हियर इन ओरिद सो दिस म्यूजियम has a copy of a Gutenberg press. So you know Gutenberg developed the first printing press. So the original printing press of Gutenberg is in Mainz, Germany. But a copy of that press is here. And uh, if you go to the museum, you can see the process of making the paper in the old style. This replica, original press museum of Mainz, Germany. Hmm. It's printed in the 15th century, but it will print the Bible. Two replicas in Europe in function, Black Slovenia and here. It's sold to 170 years. Yeah, it's here in 70, for 70 years yes. now. Okay. Procedure for paper. Inside, very, very fine fiber. Cut it, hard wood. Very fine fibers from oak tree, water, and maybe 70-80% uh, cotton. Okay, Good even chemical, cotton. Chemical, not Wow. Authentic procedure from 16th century. This paper in Ohrid Monastery said now in 16th century, same procedure. And so this is like very fine fibers from oak tree and 70-80% cotton. Oh, okay. So you put that in on, on yeah. paper okay and you let it dry yes transfer uh, to felt for drying how long it takes for drying uh, two days two days two days okay uh, after two days paper separate the texture is like rough texture and you you, you can use that for painting as well mm -hmm. This is a map of the Roman Empire in the 5th century. Macedonia, 14th century, in Europe. Okay, and how much is the cost? 10 euro? 10 euro, yes. Okay, uh, you take card? No. Only cash? Only cash, okay. I also got a map of the old empire of Alexander the Great. This one looks really interesting. Like this is the map of uh, the conquest of Alexander the Great. 
there is a part where it shows the map of India, like he conquered the northwest part of India. So I like that map, so I got it as a souvenir. यहाँ पे ना जब मैं देख रहा हूँ रास्ते में ओहरिद में बहुत सारे ऐसे विंटेज कार्स हैं यार ये कुछ ये कुछ अच्छा मुझे लगा घूमते घूमते मैं पहुंच गया था सेंट सोफिया चर्च सेंट सोफिया चर्च आज से 1000 साल पुराना है दिस चर्च इज कॉल्ड ए थ्री नवल चर्च एज इट हैज गॉट थ्री पार्ट चर्च के अंदर काफी सारे फ्रेस्को पेंटिंग है जो टेंथ इलेवेंथ सेंचुरी के आसपास बनाया गया था While roaming around the Saint Sophia Church, I stumbled upon a bunch of kids who had come to Ohrid for excursion. ये बच्चों ने मुझे ड्रोन उड़ाते देख लिया और मुझे पता नहीं कैसा है. I became an instant celebrity in Ohrid. I say hi, hi on the camera. Hi. And say welcome to Macedonia. Come to Macedonia. 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 Thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye bye. bye. There is a jetty. on this uh, lake or if you walk along this jetty you will reach the famous church of st john's i can see a lot of old and religious people going to that church so that's an eastern orthodox church actually and i i feel really nice walking along this jetty and then going to that place this wooden jetty leads to the church <laughs> थोड़ा ऊंचा है मतलब हमारे लिए तो कुछ नहीं है मतलब कुछ ओल्ड लोग जो थे उनको चढ़ने में बहुत दिक्कत हो रही है क्लाइंब इज वर्थ इट फॉर द व्यू इट्स रियली वर्थ इट सो दिस इज लाइक ईस्टर्न ऑर्थोडॉक्स चर्च एंड डेडिकेटेड टू सेंट जॉन um so this church was actually built in 13th century before the advent of ottomans so ottoman turkey attacked macedonia in the 15th century or middle of the 15th century uh, before that this church was started to be built and this hasn't been actually destroyed so um this is a well preserved church and it's like 700 years old now I was able to fly the drones, and I got some nice pictures. When you visit Ohrid, you can see a lot of friendly cats roaming around the town, just like in Montenegro. I got, I got some travel buddies for the day. You know, we are from Denmark, and we are now going to explore to the Samolis Castle. So, just if you climb uphill uh, from the Church of Saint John, then you will be able to reach the Samolis Fort. You can take a different route as well if you follow Google Maps. but this route is not on google map but everyone kind of knows it the locals they know it how did you get it like the, the road yeah I'm just improvising <laughs> i wrote like the positions places. of the, the different places yeah because they are like close to each other then we could see them yeah that's the like so old school but so effective <laughs> <laughs> yeah it works for me so. yeah it works it works yeah. actually because ohrid is not very big and yeah. it's, it's it's easy to locate as well Before I show you around the Samuel's fortress, it's time for a little bit of the history lesson. So, Tsar Samuel was a great king of the first Bulgarian Empire. Between 7th century and 11th century, there were several battles fought between the Bulgarian Empire and the Byzantine Empire. Skopje, which is the current capital of North Macedonia, used to be the capital of the older day Bulgaria. As you know, in Slavic countries, kings or emperors are called Tsar. So Tsar Samuel moved his capital from Skopje to Ohrid. He was a great king and he was almost invincible. 4 years after the death of Tsar Samuel, the first Bulgarian empire fell into the hands of the Byzantines. This fortress in the old town of Ohrid is a symbol of legacy of Tsar Samuel. Ye jo fort hai, ye banaya gaya tha around 1000 AD. 
मतलब 976 टू 1000 एडी अराउंड दैट टाइम दिस वाज बिल्ड यू कैन सी दैट देयर इज अ ओल्ड वेल फ्रॉम व्हिच दे यूज्ड टू गेट वाटर ओवर हियर एंड ऑल द वॉल्स दैट यू सी दीज आर मोस्टली from the 1000 AD era this is the largest fort of the medieval times in macedonia you can see nice views of the town of orid from this fort and this is nice i mean i would say this is a must do attraction the ticket price is 120 dinars which is roughly like 2 euros yahan pe ek telescope bhi hai jo sab city ka pura view zoom karke dekh sakte ho i am going to try that it's free long day i decided to take a coffee break so they have meal and sandwiches as well you know yeah yeah and then they have coffee they have a macedonian coffee i don't understand is that a thing you should try that <laughs> is it like a turkish coffee just <laughs> made it and more dilute yeah. i don't know yeah, what is the difference right. between the macedonian coffee and turkish coffee in every country at the original it's yeah. turkish coffee okay. everywhere But everyone in Bulgaria yeah. is Bulgarian coffee. In Greek so, is Greek yeah. coffee, yeah. you okay. know, you, you, Macedonian you, coffee. We stole it from you. Okay, you stole from Turkey. Yeah, I'm from Turkey. Yeah, no, you. I'm not from Turkey. Everywhere you from? Yes, take a guess. I don't know. I'm from India. India. Yes, a little bit, but I don't want to wrong. Purple and mango cheesecake. This looks nice. Coffee with a view. This is. This looks nice. कैफे में थोड़ा चिल करके हम लोग निकल पड़े ओरित का ओल्ड बाजार एक्सप्लोर करने पिछले दिन मैं ये बाजार अच्छे से एक्सप्लोर नहीं कर पाया था क्योंकि मेरे पास इतना टाइम नहीं था और शाम होते होते ये बहुत सारी दुकानें बंद हो जाती है तो आज हम इसे अच्छे से एक्सप्लोर करेंगे जनरली अगर आप ये मैसेडोनिया या अल्बेनिया यहाँ पे आते हो तो आपको यहाँ पे ओटोमन स्टाइल बाजार आपको दिख जाएंगे ये बाजार मेरे को क्रुए अल्बेनिया का बाजार की याद दिला दिया आई ऑल्सो डिसाइडेड टू ट्राई सम लोकल स्ट्रीट फूड द स्ट्रीट फूड इज रियली वेरी वेरी चीप स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम लाइक वन फिफ्टी मैसेडोनियन डिनर और लाइक टू एंड हाफ यूरो This is doner. Doner. This is durum. Durum. Doner is. I think I will take the doner one. This looks uh, nice. Oh. I will take take away. Okay. Miss other than doner. हालांकि ओरिड में बहुत सारे ऐसे हाइकिंग ट्रेल्स हैं, लेकिन शाम के टाइम पे एक क्रूज ट्रिप मोस्ट रेकमेंडेड है. क्रूज ट्रिप कर रहा हूँ इसका कॉस्ट है पाँच सौ दिनार लगभग साढ़े आठ यूरो है नाइन्टी मिनट का आसपास ट्रिप है और नाइन्टी मिनट्स में ये मेरे को पूरा जो और इसका कोस्ट लाइन है उसके आसपास पूरा घुमाएंगे अभी तो पूरा खाली था क्योंकि वैसे तो मई के फर्स्ट वीक में यहाँ पे ज़्यादा टूरिस्ट होते नहीं हैं तो थोड़ा सस्ता भी रहता है मे भी जून जुलाई में जो पीक टाइम में हो सकता है इसका जो कॉस्ट है थोड़ा ज़्यादा पूरा दिन भर आज बादल था ज़्यादा बारिश तो थी नहीं लेकिन बादल था अब पूरा क्लियर हो चुका है स्काई आज व्यू भी अच्छा आ रहा है सनसेट का तो आई एम रियली हैप्पी अबाउट इट kind of shared between both Macedonia and Albania but the good part the better part is actually shared uh, by North Macedonia as the sun went down and the cruise trip came to an end i decided to call it a day the next day is another eventful one as i tried scuba diving for the first time in my life so stay tuned to more travel stories from my european adventures in, in- 
fold them with rice and meat. Yeah. Some people call it dolma, and some people call it. There's another word for it called what a einap. Einap. Yeah, einap, and einap is grapes, and oh. wara is the leaves for the grapes. And it's in uh, Syrian language. Yeah. But the okay. I- Iraqi people usually mix that with aubergine and squash and yeah. potatoes and onions. Okay. Also fill them. So that's no longer sarma. Yeah, that's another. <laughs> yeah, yeah.